If we want to put our unit fractions in order, it helps to visualise them. If we have one piece of fabric, we have the whole of the fabric. If we need to divide it among two people, we cut it in half and each person gets one out of two pieces, which is one half. Now let's say we divide it among three people. We have to cut it into three equal pieces, so the pieces are smaller. So each person gets one out of three pieces, which is one third. Because we need more pieces from the whole we started with. The amount we started with hasn't changed. We're just sharing it among more people. So we can compare them, and fraction bars are a great way to do that. So let's imagine this is our fabric, and we've got a longer piece of fabric, and we'll make it look like a fraction bar. That's half, then we share it among three, and one third is smaller. Then if we have to share it among four, it's even smaller. And down it goes, one fifth is smaller. So can you see the pattern? The denominator is getting bigger because we need to share it among more people. So the pieces are getting smaller. So there's only two we need to share it among, then three, four, five. So the pieces are getting smaller, and you can see it here too. Whenever the numerator is one, it means one piece out of however many pieces we need to make all together. So a bigger denominator is always going to mean the fraction is smaller when we have a one at the top of our fraction. Now a number line is also great. If we have a half, the area between zero and one is divided into two equal spaces, and there's a half. If we have one quarter, we divide it into four equal spaces, and one quarter is there, so it's smaller than a half. Now if we have one tenth, we divide that space into ten equal pieces, so even though 10 is bigger than 4 and 2, this is 1 tenth. So 1 tenth is smaller. So once again, the denominator is getting bigger and the numbers are getting smaller. Now let's actually use some fractions. Can we put these in order from smallest to largest? Now remember we want the smallest value, not the smallest denominator. So that means we want the largest denominator. We've got a 4, an 8, and a 3. So the largest denominator is 8. So 1 8 is the smallest unit fraction from this group. The next one is 4. So 1 quarter is bigger than 1 8. And then we've got the largest of our unit fractions, the one with the smallest denominator. 